Alrighty guys, welcome back to Balako's Fish Room. So today I just wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, and I've set up the tripod just to film a good amount of time for these marbled fenestratus and the, and the classic fenestratus that I've got in here. And, uh, and get some nice footage of them just relaxing, grazing on a bit of the food that I put in there for them. And, um, and yeah, just show, show, them, show you guys kind of an update of how big they are, how they're looking, um, how their colours are kind of coming through. But I also wanted to talk about uh, my project and, and what I'm kind of working on with these and, and why. So I guess the first thing I want to start off with is actually talking about guppies. So, you know, you've got your little guppies and there's hundreds of different varieties and people are forever breeding and, and lime breeding them to get all different colors, which is, which is really cool. It's fantastic. But you run into a few problems and that's what I think... Uh, is, is happening to the marbled fenestratus um, that we're seeing here is that a couple of them are showing signs that they've been lime bred too much and it could be just you know one one or two have a deformity but the thing with fish like this like like guppies where people just want to select um, a certain color or a certain pattern and they they lime breed them which means they're they're just they're, they're most likely siblings and uh and you know, you're weakening the genetics as you breed them together because you're crossing, um, you know, a brother and sister together. And we all know that, that that's never really a good thing. So what I've decided to do um, is here on the Gold Coast, the the classic Fenestratus, which I've got uh, five small ones in here. We can see a couple down on the, on the bottom of the, uh, just in front of the substrate. So there's five of those in here. And what I've decided to do is is grow them up and try to pair uh, one of my nicer marbled fenestratus with a classic fenestratus. So they're the exact same fish, except somebody you know got a marbled kind of variation and and lime bred for that. Um, and I don't want to continue with potentially weak genetics and potentially uh, genetics that will be harmful to the fish. So I've decided to try and pair up a, a classic and a marble together to, uh, to really strengthen those genetics again. And, and uh, basically that's just going to be two totally separate bloodlines which are, um, are going to spawn. And those babies, yes, you're going to get some of the babies as classic fenestratus and you're going to get some of them as a, as a marbled fenestratus. But the thing is, you're going to get that anyway if you're breeding uh, two marbles together. Um, given you know more will turn out marbled fenestratus but you're always going to get throwbacks and you're always going to have to do a bit of culling or or something along those lines so i guess uh the main reason for doing that is one uh like i've said a few times in my last videos that here in australia it's it's really hard to get uh new fish in so you don't want to dilute their genetics you don't want to dilute their bloodline and um and make these fish weak you want them to still be strong fish and be able to live long happy lives and uh and and not worry about coming into health issues and i think the responsible thing to do is before i start breeding a, fen a marbled fenestratus with another marbled fenestratus is yeah, cross it back with a classic Fenestratus and, uh, and strengthen those genetics. So I'm really looking forward to this. Um, the, uh, the main goal, like I said, is, is strengthening these fish. So when I do have some fry and I can sell them, I'm confident that, you know, these are, are going to be top quality fish that are, that are heading out into the, uh, into the industry in Australia. So, um, so that's really all, all I wanted to really touch on on these guys is the project that I'm doing. I'm just growing them out at the moment. The marbles are around uh, that two to three inch mark. And then the classics, um, they're around, you know, one to two inches. So they're still all growing out and, uh, and I'm gonna get them in their own uh, six foot tank once the fish room renovations is all, all done and dusted. Um, so yeah, I mean, only other thing to touch on, they've got a couple of tank mates uh, that were getting picked on. I've got one of the um, the flag tails, which you can see back there, and I've got a, a couple of the uh, feste or the red terror in there because they were getting bullied by the the big male. But um, but yeah, so it's all all going well, and uh, and that's really it for me, guys. So look, thanks for watching. I hope you guys like these types of videos and and everything. Feel free to like, subscribe, and uh, and leave some comments down in the comment section comment section below. Um, 
always interested to hearing what people are doing, especially overseas, hear, hearing about what you guys are doing over there. So anyway, guys, thanks for, uh, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching. And, uh, and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.